everybody, it's Mike DeShazer here from Proof here in South Korea, and I'm hanging out with some of the best Ethereum developers in the world. I'm gonna make a quick video to show you how to use and handle Ethereum tokens using smart contracts. Here we go. So a lot of people hear about blockchain and smart contracts and tokens, and these ICOs are going crazy right now, and people wanna know how to manage their tokens, create tokens, and what smart contracts mean. And in this video tutorial, I hope to shed light on exactly how everything works without any abstractions in a very comprehensive way that's highly practical. Uh, so not going into the theory, just showing how to do stuff. So I'm here at myetherwallet.com. I'm going to generate a wallet. The first thing you need to do is to create a wallet. So I'm gonna create a quick password and I'm gonna click create new wallet after I download. They make me download first. You click private key, there's my private key. This will always entitle me to my wallet. Another way we can do it is you can use our proof API and you can literally just uh, create a proof address which is the same as Ethereum or an Ethereum address. So you can just copy and paste this into your browser and it'll create, you'll have your private key like you just saw plus your address. You can do it either way. You can also create an Ethereum address. There's another whole other way to do it. You can create an account on beta.proofdashboard.com and once you register, you will actually get an Ethereum account and a private key. So I can go to over here to account balance, click load here, and there's my Ethereum address. And I can also click the key here and there's my private key. All right, now that you have an Ethereum address, it's time to do something with it. What you're gonna to need to do now is actually load it up. So I'm gonna click load to actually load up my account. So I'm gonna copy that and you, you go to, you can go, now I'll show you how to get some and I'll show you several ways to send it. So now we're talking about sending or getting some. So if you have Ethereum already, you can copy the address, you can say exactly how much Ethereum you wanna send and then you can send the funds to your address. So I'm gonna confirm that, I'll send that out Boom, now my account has $1.81 worth of Ethereum. Cool. Next, you can, you can also send money like this. I can go to that wallet that I just created, and I'm gonna pick one I created from before because it has more money already on it, um, and put in your password that you from the thing that you downloaded, and you click unlock, it'll show your balance, and then I can go to an Ethereum address that I created over here, copy my address, paste that in, and now I generate the transaction. Takes a second, creates a raw transaction and a signed transaction. This is just with my private key attached. I click send, and now I'll make the transaction, and now it has been sent. I can verify that on Etherscan. So I can go over to, let's say, etherscan.io, and I can paste that in, and I can see that my ether has been sent. So now what if you want to buy it? You can go to beta.proofdashboard.com, click on account balance. You can load up money with PayPal. So you can put $5 or $4 on here, click load with PayPal, and then you can click convert, and then you can convert to Ethereum, and then you can get your Ethereum. So now I know how to send money, load money, create an address, now let's talk about another tool called MetaMask. MetaMask is a simple tool that pops up like this and it allows you to generate a, another wallet and you can see your private key easily. So if I type my password in here, I can actually see there's my private key and that allow me to send transactions or anything through, e through my Ether wallet or in other places. So MetaMask is very popular. It's a Chrome extension. You just literally click download the plugin. You'll go here, you click add to Chrome, make sure you're on the Chrome browser, it'll be there. Uh, so we're gonna use this in the future. You'll need this and you'll need it running and you'll need some money on it in order to do the next step. So now I'm at proofsuite.com and uh, dot slash smart contract and I wanna create a smart contract. Now we have a simple template that's here that you can just see and you can easily edit it. I'm gonna create a very simple smart contract and I'm gonna give it 5,000 units and I'm gonna call this token, oh, let's call it FORP. It's like proof, but backwards. 
two decimal places divisibility. I'll give it a symbol. I'll just make it call, be called P. And then uh, what this will do is it'll create 5,000 tokens called FORP, et cetera. And I'm going to name, instead of token here, I'm going to call this FORP. And I'm going to call this FORP. So now it's really FORP. All right. So I'm going to copy this code. And then I'm going to go over here to ethereum.github.io where I can simply paste in. Uh, so this is an ERC20 token, uh, compatible token. I'll paste this in. And now I'll have a very simple smart contract that has an initial supply where when it loads up, the person who activates it gets the whole thing and it can be transferred. And all of the records, every token is actually always going to be stored inside of this smart contract. Okay, so now it's time for me to get this thing running. Because you have MetaMask, you might need to reload the page, but you'll see the environment is Injected Web 3. If you see another environment like Java VM, refresh or something, you're not running MetaMask correctly. All right, so I have enough money. It's going to cost me about almost $10 maybe to deploy the smart contract. And I'll actually click create. So then it'll do a thing. It'll wait for the transaction. And then once the transaction is ready, uh, MetaMask will ask me, okay, do you want to spend this much money? And do you want to pay this gas price? And I'll click accept. I'll accept. And then my smart contract will be waiting to be mined. This means that the miners are waiting to pick it up. And in a few moments, the wonderful thing will happen, and my smart contract that I just created here will actually be deployed onto the Ethereum blockchain. And then I can go to Ethereum uh, etherscan.io, paste in my address over here, and I will see that a contract is being created. And I'll even be able to see what the ID of my contract is. So it's still pending, it's almost ready, and once it's finally ready, I'll be able to play with it and send tokens. So as you can see here, I initially gave myself 5,000 tokens, and now it's time for me to go ahead and send it out to other people. So I'm gonna do that. I can click on private key here, and I can grab my private key for this address by clicking on the key. I can pay, pop in my password, and then I can just copy this key. Click to copy, then paste it in, then click unlock. Great. Now it's time for me to send my token to somebody. So let's find a random user on proof to send this to, or let's just generate a new address. So I'll go over here and I'll just re-click this. And there it is. I have a new address to send this stuff to. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over to here and I'm going to send it to this person that I just created. And then I'm going to basically add a custom token. So then all I have to do is get the address, which I have over here now. So here's my contract address. I'll copy the address and then say add custom token. I can put the address in and literally just type in F and decimals of zero and click save. And now it'll show that I have 5,000 tokens. So I'll click between these two. It takes a while to load, but it'll show it. And then I'll paste in this address for this person that I'm sending it to. So I'll copy this address. So now I'll put how much I want to send. I'll go ahead and send this person 10. I'll generate the transaction and then I'll click send transaction. Yes, I want to make this transaction. And now I've sent 10 of a token that I just created to a random address who could be my friend or could be someone else. Okay, now, what if I want to get this token on proof and let people trade it? So, for example, I'll go to account balances. I'll copy my address. So, here it is. I'll click load and then get it. So, now, I'll just go to MetaMask and then I'll get my private key. Type in my password. So I'm going to click private key. I'm going to paste in my private key here. I'm going to click unlock and I'll add my custom token. This will be the F token and it's the one that I have right over here. I'll copy that over and then paste this in here.
So here we go. It'll it'll show my balances soon. And what I can do is I'll just go ahead and send over a little bit to this address, to my proof address. So over here, I'll just paste that in and I'll click amount to send and I'll send, let's say 100. So I'll send 100 over, I'll click generate transaction and then I'll click send transaction. I'll say yes, I'm sure. So I just sent 100 F over, which is fork, over to this account. Now I can go ahead and list it. I'll click on create asset and then I'll put fork and I'll give it a simple description, cool. And I'll make it a community currency, so that's for cryptocurrency. I'll put only 50 of my shares on for $1 a piece and I'll make it public, I'll put it on the market and then I'll click existing smart contract. I'll scroll over to here, I'll grab my contract address that I just generated and then I'll paste in the smart contract address. Now, all I have to do is click on Ethereum because that's the blockchain I want. I could generate a legal, legal agreement and back it up and, and give more stuff and usually you would give a longer description, etc., for the listing. But everything checks out. Make sure there are no spaces. And then I'll click Create. Now it has been created. And I can see my asset here. I can see my fork. And I can share this link, and now other people can purchase it from me for one dollar in USD, and it'll be and the token will be transferred to their Ethereum wallet that they have on proof. So people can easily purchase and now trade something that I wrote uh, and create, and, and also for other smart contracts. When you participate in other ICOs and they give you tokens, you can basically load those up onto proof sell them to your friends, or if you want to create your own crypto. It's really easy though, just to have us generate it for you. But if you do want it like featured on CoinMarketCap, you, you, you want to put some really cool stuff into it. So let's talk about getting it actually featured on CoinMarketCap and getting other exchanges. The first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to validate your code. So go to etherscan.io slash verify contract. You'll need to type in the name of your contract. So for example, I'll just go to my original code. So the contract is called Fork, so I'll just paste that in fork. I'll select the compiler. So I'll need to check out which compiler I used. You'll need to get the exact version of Solidity that you use. So it's 4.11 commit 68E. So I'll click that. And then you'll need to see if you had optimization enabled. I did not enable optimization. So I will go here and I'll just say it's disabled. And then I'll put the contract address. Once you have all of that saved up, you'll then need to paste in the code. So I'll go to the contract code, I'll copy it, I'll paste it over here. So there's my contract code that I wrote. Great, now I'll see that I was successfully, I, they successfully generated and now it's called fork. So other people can see it and they can see what happened on the blockchain for my particular fork. So I'll need to have this actually, ver my, my contract verified. Now when I go to the smart contract and I click refresh and I click on the smart contract, it'll say source code yes and people can actually see the contract name and they can see all the stuff that I wrote. Now I can go to CoinMarketCap and I can send them a message and say, hey, CoinMarketCap, here is my coin, you can verify my code, it's awesome. And they'll ask you, well, do you have it on exchanges? And you'll say yes, because I'm gonna reach out to the exchanges and they can verify my code is legitimate. And you can even tell them, hey, and it's already on an exchange, it's on proof, and now you can trade the tokens. Furthermore, if you wanna do an ICO, you can always go to proofsuite.com slash I and actually just generate an ICO landing page for it by just quickly typing in fork. It's awesome, comes out in three days. Save it, share it with friends or embed it on your website and now you have your own token and a market that trades it and you know how to manually send it. So I hope this helps you figure out how to deal with tokens on the Ethereum blockchain.